friends, so we're getting ready to go on the duck boat cruises today in Boston, which will be fun. It's kind of a yucky day for it, but I got the kids packed up and we're just going to get prepared to do it rain style here. It's not a yucky day. Ducks go in the water, right? <laughs> That's true. So this will be fun. They said they have like some sort of covering. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. It's supposedly heated and some interior or yeah. something. So Doesn't she look so cute today? Thanks. Okay, well, let's go. I'm Trent and I'm Siobhan and we are Everyday Family Adventure and we're so glad you're joining us this week as we went to Boston. Yes. It was awesome. This is something that, you know, we've kind of been hitting a little bit of our bucket list items, things that we'd always wanted to do and got a little story. We years ago when we first got married we No, no, no. No? No, it was when Camden was oh, like he two was... and Bennett was we were still baby. we were still only like three years married yeah. so but yeah. it was kind of one of our things that we wanted to do you know we wanted to go to Boston in the fall yeah. you know thank you Larry from Veggie Tales <laughs> with uh, the pirates who don't do anything and I've never been to Boston in the fall it just kind of got in us something we always wanted to do and we actually purchased plane tickets from South Carolina and we were going to go. We had the plane tickets. We had everything ready to go. We were so excited. Yeah. And then I changed jobs. I got a job in Michigan and loved it. But because of that, we just made the sacrifice and we didn't. Yeah, we had to be in Michigan. And yeah. we had to get all our stuff from South Carolina to Michigan. And uh, so we had to cancel our trip. But so ever since then, we had said we will go to Boston in the fall and we decided to do that. Obviously, you know, if you've been watching, we've been traveling all over recently. We just came from Toronto last week, Boston, and we're going to be heading down to New York and New Jersey. It's been busy. It's been very busy, um, but it's been fun. It's been fun. really life giving and we've had a blast with it, you know, yeah. so. Where are we going to go to in Boston? Why don't you tell them about that? So, we had the opportunity to take a tour in Boston. And if you're going to go on a tour, you know, Boston's this really kind of cool place. It's a harbor town. It's got so much rich history. Um, lots of, you know, just really amazing historical buildings. And yeah. just there's a lot to see and learn. And so we thought, what better way to see and learn all of it than to take a duck tour? Yeah, also because something we'd always wanted to do, you know, those amphibious boats. Yeah, it's like a boat bus. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> right? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like a bus that can drive into the water. It's a tour bus kind of thing. You can drive into the water. So we had a tour about, I think it was about an hour um, around town on land and then we drove right into the Charles River yeah. and we had about 20 or 30 minutes in the river which was pretty cool I mean you just don't get to do that every day so, the, the, the boat <laughs> have a fan classic day Ricky are you on the ducky boat yeah. hi guys how are you how, how is everybody so where are you guys from, just out of curiosity? Where are you guys from here? Who, and, and who are all these kids? Wow, five kids? That's amazing.
You go, why don't you go ahead and hawk the horn right there real quick. All right. Great. Okay, man. Okay, man. good job. Why don't you go back to your seat there, pal. All right, go back. Nice to meet you. Again. Lots of energy, these kids. He's but like, it was just so no, funny because he, he's like... No, he had said... He, but he had said, he's like, that's a lot of energy, those kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, our kids have a lot of energy. Yeah. There was, I mean, there, was one, there was one moment there where like Siobhan and I turned our head for a second and like one of them was like so close and everybody's like whoa 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 yeah because I mean you're, ah, yeah. you'll, you'll see in the video like you're in this kind of like open I mean it's like a, it looks more like a boat than a bus yeah but it's got wheels on it but so it's kind of got open air sides that have this plastic zip up covering and there's life jackets for everybody yeah it's all safe it's safe but if you keep your kids from are, jumping out the window <laughs> you know our kids are just a little extra energy as you've noticed and they did they did a great job uh you know we had an awesome time thank you so much to boston duck tours for allowing us to just feature your company and mm -hmm. and we had a blast with it it was so much fun and thank you to our captain paul reverse for uh, your awesome uh, knowledge, they're really yeah. they're really talented. He they was know what they're he doing. was full of some very interesting facts. I don't think they ever stopped talking. Like the, no. they, they know so much. Yeah, it's amazing because it's not just you know your typical Boston history kind of stuff. Right. There's just these little facts around every corner. He's like, oh, you see that statue? This was in that movie, or yeah. you know, they they know lots of stuff. It's really really cool. Yeah, like, we really enjoyed the it. The kids loved it too. They all they all got to oh. drive. Yeah. the boat obviously saw that but I, I I liked this as a parent I kind of liked that they were all in one place and we got to see the whole city yeah like that was awesome yeah. uh, you know I'm not holding on to hands tightly and one of the great things about Boston Duck Tours is that they have several locations you can leave from in the city we specifically chose our location because it was leaving from the Boston Museum of Science yeah which was really convenient because for us. the tour got back right around lunchtime. So we hopped into the museum where they had a big cafeteria. We could sit down. The kids had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And we headed straight into the Boston Museum of Science for an afternoon of educational fun. And here's the thing about science museums. You guys see that we go to them often. often. Science museums, children's museums, things like that. And you would think that, like waterfalls, our kids might be getting tired of <laughs> science museums. But it's just not the case, because... I'm tired of science museums. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I really enjoy it, because here's the thing. Every single one of them is unique and different. And right. has different yeah. things to touch and see and learn. And I think our kids know that, and so whenever we say children's museum or science museum, they, they get, get so excited. So excited. So yeah. once again, our reciprocal like museum membership thing, it's so worth it. So worth it, yeah. I mean, we paid $140 for it, and we've used it way more than that, you know. We've, yeah. We've yeah. used it a ton. Yeah. So we've gone on the duck boat tours in Boston and that seen was, all around seen all around Boston. There's a bunch of things that I want to go see now up close. I know. Well, I think it's really Oops. cool. This is, it was a good way to tour the city and it, it kind of kept our kids contained in one spot, which is awesome. Yeah. And I think maybe they learned something. I know. Maybe a little bit. There was a lot of information, a lot of things to see. We're here at the Boston Science Museum right now, and this place is huge. Like, there's no way we're going to be able to see everything. And no, but it gives the kids an opportunity to just run around and touch things and play and touch maybe things. work out. Yeah. They like to touch everything. Oh my gosh, everything! So they get to like work out some of their energy because after this, we're going to nap. Yeah. Don't
don't tell them. Don't everything. tell them. We're gonna drive around the city and look around and let the little ones take a nap. Yeah. Do you brush your teeth, Wrigley? With toothpaste. With toothpaste? And yes. What? Tell me what you sing when you brush your teeth. Super cool, buddy. I love it. Three things that come from a tree. A pine One, cone, good. Two. What is it? Oh, like a seed pod thing? Yep. What else? Two. One more. And three. And the wood over there? Yeah. Good. Oh, you came back out. Kimmy, watch out. How come there's no energy? Oh, Bennett, that's super neat. So today has been full of fun. Full of fun. In Boston, and now we have two sleepers. And now we're gonna take a drive for a little bit to see a little bit more of the city. So now we are taking a little walk to go see some Boston things that we wanted to see, specifically the ducks. We went on the duck boat tour, and now we gotta go see the ducks. You ready, Sullivan? Come on. Oh, we just woke up from a nap. Okay, now we are gonna go play. We had a good nap. You took a good nap? You didn't take a nap? No. Are you sure? So we really enjoyed going to the Boston Public Gardens. It was beautiful. I mean, we didn't show near as much. You didn't put that picture of Truman on there. I did. You did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't remember seeing it. Yeah. Just the the sunlight, the just golden sunlight was I hitting everything I think we were so, perfect. like, captivated by... I mean, it was like... She was taking pictures. She got great photography. Great photography. I was taking photos because the light was just so perfect. Yeah. And it was just such a magical place. Like, right in it the middle really of Boston, was. there's this beautiful garden, and you've got the Mallards, Mr. and Mrs. Mallard from Make Way for Ducklings, because that story took place in Boston. Yeah. And it took place in the Boston Public Gardens, and you've got the little island in the middle, and there's still ducks on it, and, um, and they've got the little statues that you saw our kids playing on, but... Um, what, I think how? it was like that was definitely like for Siobhan a moment because that's a book she grew up, you know, reading. And, and I've read it to the boys. I've read too. it to the boys too, yeah. and and it was just it was awesome. It was like a it was like a children's book, you know, a children's storybook come to life. Yeah. So it was really fun. Yeah, and so then we, you know, obviously it was getting late. We wanted to take advantage of the city as much as we could, and we when we do, we do it. We're there for the whole day, so we had to get dinner. And we had to do up Boston the right way, right? Yeah. We had to get some chowder. Yeah, when in Boston, you gotta have chowder. Yeah, you gotta have chowder. <laughs> Where are we going, Trims? Truman! Truman! Boston chowder! We got the Lobster mac and cheese pie? Yeah. That sounds awesome. Sounds like pigeon toast. Chowda. Chowda. Mommy, have you ever had like a big bowl 
lobster before. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have how with much, Daddy. How much was it? I don't remember. We're just talking about how the market price of lobster is very expensive. We had to do it though, you know. It was good. It's yummy. I'll just dip them in the soup. It's yummy. Can I try a piece of the yeah. lobster? Mommy, can I just dip them in the Daddy got a lot. I don't really have a date. <laughs> If I, I become like president, I will lower the price of lobsters because they don't have very much. So good though. Trent and I just shared a bowl of New England clam chowder and a, uh, what's it called? Oh, hot buttered lobster roll. And it was like $23. So we thought we'd share it. And we're both still starving afterwards. So I'm going to look for something that looks amazing for us to eat to finish filling our bellies. Mmm, I smell curry. Um. Graham, come here, buddy. We're now going for a quick walk across town because we were told that the dessert to have in Boston comes from Mike's Pastry on the north end. And apparently they make 10,000, did he say 10,000? 10,000. 10,000 cannolis a day. Yeah. So we're gonna go have a Boston cannoli for dessert. Oh, and I love this town. I thought this really was cool amazing. Town. Thank you, Boston, and everyone there. Thank you, Missy and Jeff, for hosting us. I mean, they, they were, obviously, that was amazing that we met up with them. Totally a God thing yes, for us. Yes, you guys, this was like a friend of a friend of a friend. Is that right? Right. I'm a friend of a friend sure. of a friend. So, yeah. like, the friend of ours had no idea who this person was. Right. <laughs> but we needed somewhere in Boston to stay. All the campgrounds and all were the campgrounds closed. Were closed. And, Everything. You know, there's, yeah. So it just worked out perfectly. We were able to pull right up on their driveway, and they were just wonderful hosts to our kids. Oh, my goodness. And they even I fed us. That was totally unexpected. I have not eaten like that in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> But it was so good. In fact, so, I think I gained a few pounds just from, yeah. just from staying at their house. <laughs> well, I, I just will say, you know, so precious. It, and it just reminds me that everywhere we go across this nation, we are just meeting the most amazing people. And I'm, it just, it, it blesses my heart so much to know all the friends that we've made all across this great nation. And mm -hmm. the ones we look forward to even meeting too. So that's super awesome. Uh, we just, we just absolutely loved our time. So Thank you guys. And and on that note about friends, it's time for our believer bump. Boom. Boom. Today's believer bump is from Melanie Collins. Hey Hi, Melanie. Melanie. Melanie says, "Congratulations on hitting over 10,000 subs. Sounds like you had an incredible week. 
praying we can make the world better because I believe we can. I love that. So great. That means you're a believer. You're that's a believer. great. And that's why we call it the believer bump, right? If you guys want to be featured on the on the believer bump, all you got to do is just leave us a comment below, you know, hit that notification bell. We call it the believer bell and just let us know you're here. Let us know your story. Let us know something you love about our channel and something that, that caught your eye. And, and, and we love that you can be part of the journey too. Yeah. So guys, we're going to let you go tonight. Uh, we're so grateful to have you along the journey. Next week, we head over to Cape Cod. So yes. really excited about that. So excited. Don't want to miss that. So we've been doing some really, really cool things. And uh, don't forget to check out our Patreon page if you haven't been there yet before because that also helps us do more of the music that uh, we do and check out the song Fear that we just released last song. week. Yep. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of fun things going on and yeah. we're very blessed. So, Got anything else you want to say? Did you say thanks? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, remember, guys, we can make the world better. I believe we can. Bye. There's the name of the town. Worcester. Worcester. Worcester is Worcester. I'm looking like that. It's not worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, in every town, oldest kid's out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Ram, Ram, Ram.